Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Eddie here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide, and this time, we are getting it all in the very cosy and cutesy, a little to the left, a little to the right. Uh, this was developed by Max Power, or rather Max Inferno for short, and was published by Secret Mode. It is usually available for $12.99-$14.99, but it's included day one with ye old Xbox Game Pass. So we play as the protagonist, Miss Dustana Clean, as another angry cat messes up her stuff and we have to satisfyingly put things away. Think unpacking, but bigger. It is a nice chill game and I have all the solutions for you. So much so, as you'll see in the timestamps, I've marked each level with whether they have the picture solution or not, plus every achievement as always, so hopefully you'll find that useful. As for achievements, as always, there's always the story-related ones, but we must find every solution. A few miscellaneous easy ones, as always. Make sure to not ask for a hint or skip a level during the entire playthrough. But the big ones are for completing all daily task badges, which means you'll either be doing a daily tidy task for 100 days, or you can use your PC to change the date and knock it out a lot quicker. Sadly, it can't be done on Xbox. All in all, you're looking at around six to eight hours or so for the full 1K if doing your P uh, the PC method. So, with that being said then, let's do it! So, obviously, you'll be pressing the A button, as always, to interact with stuff. I'm just going to show you the first sort of ten levels of the video. So, for this one, what we're going to do is you're going to just move this one straight. And you'll know when you've done a level correctly, when you hear DING! And then, obviously, the level finishes. Uh, you can restart if you want, uh, but like I said, do not uh, go into the start menu and press the hint button or the skip button. Uh, second level here, make sure to grab this ball and give it a good swing until the first your first achievement unlocks. Um, fun for humans too. So, yep, yeah, basically it's you fiddling with balls all your life. Um, so yeah, just shake that green ball until the achievement unlocks and then just put everything into the basket. Obviously, these are just going to be nice and easy, the first sort of however many levels or so. Some do get a little bit more complicated. Um, and that's why I've put a lot of picture solutions, because it's probably easier to follow a picture, pause the video, follow a picture, rather than seeing me grab a whole bunch of crud, crap and crud and stuff. So for this one, we need to put uh, specific um, pencils in order. So we'll go white first, then orange, and then red, and then brown, or is that whatever color that one is, and then black on the very right. Now you have to bear with me with the colors. Uh, as you can tell, I'm a bit, I'm a bit moronic with colors. I can't tell the difference between some colors, so you will have to bear with me and laugh at my expense. That's okay, I'm giving you permission. Um, so, yeah, now we're just going to basically pop this. It's like a little squiggly puzzle. And again, you'll always know when you put something in the right place as well, because it'll sort of stick on its own and you'll be able to hear the ding as well. Uh, so this one is basically every doctor's autograph or, you know, doctor's prescription, and you, you've got to text him then to say, what the hell have you put down? And then the doctor says, that's paracetamol. Is it? Right, so, on to the next one. Obviously, I'll explain everything more, the more mechanics and everything, we come to it. All we're doing is just straightening up these pictures. Hang these in the Louvre. Especially one-armed lady right there. Hello, one-armed lady. Um... <laughs> I'm so sorry, getting off track once more. So, yeah, so obviously the more mechanics uh, that pop on, obviously I will be uh, explaining a lot more in terms of the... Because uh, obviously at the minute we're only getting one star, that's because there's only one way to finish the solution, but obviously there's going to be two and three solutions on a specific level which we have to find. Uh, these puzzles, you're basically putting... Uh, you're basically putting everything from biggest to smallest. It doesn't matter if you put uh, a small one on top of a big one or whatever. It, it just sorts itself out. So there's another one done. And it is very satisfying. So if you're really, really satisfied by, you know, watching crap talk about, you know, doing all the stuff, uh, you will find this satisfying. So this is actually the first one where we can actually gain two stars for two solutions. 
So what we'll do is... Um, now, and the, the reason there are two solutions in this one, and a lot of it, normally, sometimes these books, they, they may go from sort of tallest to smallest, thickest to thinnest, or as you can see, there's a couple of lines on them as well. So you basically got to... So if we just follow it right there... Uh, again, pause the video if I was going to go in a bit too fast there. But uh, yeah, so as you can see, this one was from uh, largest to smallest on the right. So when so when you see that there's two stars, just go ahead and reset it. Obviously, you will still keep your one star because you've already found the solution. So then once you reset it, you're just going to have to do the other solution for whichever one it is. And this time, it's from left to right, thickest to thinnest. Basically, my one butt cheek to my calf, which is a damn shame. Thick to thin. So, uh, yep, you just pop it in this order, and there we go. So you will get another achievement here for uh, getting the um, first two stars. So, hooray! And we're getting there. Yes, we are. Yes, we are. Okay, this one's nice and easy then. You just basically put in these all in a lovely straight line. Uh, they can't fall, so do not panic your own butter bobs. Butter bobs? Whatever butter bobs are, but don't worry about them. Again, and again, even if even if you're like slightly off, the game will uh, sort of automatically pop it there, which is just very nice. Uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, it's super cute. Yep, so on to the next level, we blow, Mr. Mo. Uh, now, this one, as you can see, there's a few stamps that we need to put on, and we are going to do that. You can obviously see which ones are needed. I'll try and put them in a nice nice order so you can actually see. So, obviously, you're going to put um, it's Seagull, and then we're going to grab the Ladybird, pop that one in the middle, and then that one's done. We hear the ding, ding dong, and grab the next Seagull. Come and get it. Come and get it. Uh, for the next one, we will grab the seashell, which will actually go to the right of the chess piece. Don't be a uh, silly dong like me. Grab the next chess piece, put that one on the right again. I was being silly sausages. Hmm. Could do with some sausages right now. Well, it's Saturday morning in the morning, and I am going to order in a nice McDonald's wrap breakfast. Yes! And anyway, the last one, two keys, um... Santa, or is that supposed to be a seal? Is that S Santa dressed as a seal or a seal dressed as Santa? Anyway, I don't know. Uh, but the next lot are going to be a picture solution now. Uh, as you'll be able to see in just a minute. So what I'm going to be doing then is... There we go. So the first, this is the first picture solution. So obviously if you want to, you can just pause it and then carry on. With each picture solution, I'll actually leave it on screen for about 15 to 20 seconds. Because, you know, it's a bit of a pain when you, um, if you're trying to follow something and they only keep it on for like, you know, two or three seconds. Uh, yeah, so that's what I'll be doing then. So for every 15 to 20 seconds, the picture solution will be on screen. Um, again, I just find it easier, especially with the later levels, to have the picture solution up so that you are not having to go nuts with, uh, yeah, just being confused. So around here, you should get the tidying up 100 items as well. Um, but again, with every picture solution here, go ahead, pause it. You do you, follow away. That's just a lot easier. And I live and breathe to give you easier. Also, what I've done, if there are two or three solutions, I'll put at the top of the screen, uh, solution 1 out of 2, solution 2 out of 2, just so you don't get confused there, laddies. And we move on to the next one. Uh, now, for any sort of video solutions, where I where it's not a picture solution, I will just talk, uh, just to let you know sort of what's going on so what we're doing then is just moving these picture frames um to the right and to the left um basically could have done that as a picture solution but i don't know why i didn't but anyway that's all we're doing for that bit and then moving on sir
Ah, now these are always fun. Pencil stuff. So again, we're going to be doing, I think this is the first triple solution that we can do. So obviously, as you can see there, we've got a lot of a lot of pencils that are thicker than, uh, not thicker, but taller than the others, uh, sharpier and pointier than the others. So from, well, basically from left to right then, what you're doing is pop in uh, green, orange, gray, red, and yellow first. So obviously if that's nubbiest to pointiest, that's basically, uh, <laughs> that's basically nipples in the cold versus nipples in the warm. And then what we are going to do is pop down uh, green first, then gray, and then we'll pop down orange, that orange, yeah, then yellow and then red. Again, please laugh at my expense, at my actual hilarious inability to tell some different colors. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's quite depressing really, but there we go. But at least I'm not fully colorblind, so you know, I can see colors, just not very well. Anyway, it's red, then orange, then yellow, then green, and then gray. And that will be your first triple dig. So now you can call yourself Triple G. No, don't call yourself Triple G. That's, eh, nah, let's just not do that. Right, anyway, moving on again, sir. Ah, bloody cats! I mean, I love cats so much. They don't destroy all your homely possessions or anything, right? Rum. Okay, so now why I didn't do this as a picture solution, it's because I got lazy and I couldn't be asked. Um, and I'll tell you anyway, with the wood, with these sort of pencil shavings right there, you actually need to get rid of them in order to complete the level. So first of all, it's basically just going from left to right, smallest to biggest. So pop that one out and then make sure to get rid of the pencil sharpenings as well. So that's the first solution. What? Cat? Why do you destroy my possessions? You're lucky you don't shave your fur off. Turn you into one of those sphinx cats, you know, the one that looks like a ball sack after the shower. One of those mole rats. Anyway, now this second solution is all to do with the symbols. What I believe to be... I mean, are they Roman numerals? Anyway, so look at the symbols there. You've got the... Uh, Sort of triple W on the left, normal W on the right, then a V, which I know is five. And then it's, uh, yeah, yeah, the rest of them. So big curly boy to the right, small curly boy, and then regular curly boy in line in the middle. Get rid of the wood shavings. Job done. Dang. Just. Cat. I will turn you into food. Oh, no, actually, I, there's probably a bunch of cat lovers that... Watch my guides. I'm just joking. I'll just, I'll just uh, give him diarrhea pills. That'll do. Right. So for this one, then, what we've got to do, and uh, there will be even for breaking my stuff. So with the two buttons there, you've got to put both of the volume of the, both of the knobs, whatever you want to call it, up so they're both on, and then grab the old scratcher rooney and put it on the second sort of line on the disc. 
the one that's unscratched, and that's what will get you working, and that is what will finish and end this first chapter. Hoorah! <laughs> And here we are on to chapter two, and obviously puzzles are going to start getting a little bit more complicated. So first up, there's a couple of solutions for this one. Then you you basically have to get these tomatoes smack bang in the middle. Um, so it can be a little bit finicky, and it may take a few little uh, adjustments here and there. But once you've got it, you need to get them literally smack bang in the middle. But you'll get it eventually. And then of course, once we reset again. What you need to do is the left and right can, you're going to put the tomatoes facing towards you, and then the middle one, you're going, we're going to be looking at the back. Mm. Wait a minute. Actually, the right one, sorry, we are putting it so it's just grey. And again, you have to try and be as perfect as that, so yeah, that's what the solution looks like. So sorry, I steered you wrong. Please don't hate me. Please send me, how many subscribers have I got here? 23,000. If you could all just send me one pound, I would be very grateful. And rich. Um, no, I'm joking. So, uh, again, I'm just leaving this one in here. Purely because, once again, I think I got lazy. Uh, so, if you, obviously, you could just follow along. I mean, these ones are obviously quite easy enough to follow. You could basically got potatoes, then peas, then pickles, and whatever it is. Uh, and that's the reason I kept it in, actually, because we unlock the uh, categorization cadet for tidying 250 items. Again, if you don't get that one yet, you will get it uh, in just a bit. You should get all of them with ease anyway. So now the jars are basically going from left to right, biggest to smallest. So, again, it is easier sometimes, rather than focusing on what's in the jar and what's going where, I'll just tell you what it is. Again, like I said, it was... Uh, Biggest to smallest, from left to right. And, you know, you'll find it easier doing that rather than focusing on what's in the thing. Do you know what I mean? You know what I mean. So, for this one then, this time we are going with... I forget. So, basically, it's potato, then green bees, then peas, then uh, potatoes, gherkins, and then the other two. Yeah, job done. Um, Yeah. Oh, in fact, it's the water levels that time. Sorry, it was the water levels. Right, okay. So this one, again, it's a nice, easy one. You basically just put in a big spoon down first and then all small spoons on it. And then reset it, and we're going to go from left to right, biggest to smallest.
So yeah, obviously always check uh, just how many stars there are. Uh, it'll obviously tell you, but here we are then. We're going to get another achievement here. So what we're going to do is grab the top left egg and put it one over. And then the egg to the right of that, we are going to put it down the bottom right corner, the second to sort of last one there. So that's all we're doing. And that will get us the achievement uh, exacting eggs. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Ah, oh, god damn it, I'm funny. Uh, and that'll be the only one anyway, so we can just go ahead and nip that one out. Again, if you don't get the achievement, of course, you can just easily reset it and it'll be job done. So for this one, this is another achievement that we need to grab. We're gonna just pop all these little bits of crap off the desk. Excuse me, sir. Could you please piss off? And then we are just going to go and quickly finish the old, um, Tingo Scrat right here. This is actually going to get us to sweep them on the floor achievement. So we'll put big red in the middle. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then purple to the left of that. And then a little bit of, is that pink or grey to the left of that? And then little green to the left of that. Uh, then to the right, it's going to be small. Then medium yellow. Oh, sorry. No, big green. And then medium yellow to the right of that. So that's how we do that. And again, that's the next achievement. Sweep them on the floor. We'll worry about this later. Or just get someone else to do it. Because I can't be goddamn bothered. Okay, so we have orange, pear, and apple. So what we need to do, first of all, then, we basically just have to take all of the stickers off on each fruit. So get every, so give them a spin round, get every sticker off, and that'll be the first solution. And then, of course, reset it. And then the second solution is what we need to do. So you see the, the sticker that's on the pair right now. We actually need to get rid of all of those ones. And there's going to be one orange looking sticker, one apple looking sticker, and one pear looking sticker. Obviously, what you're going to need to do is put the apple on the apple, the pear on the pear, and the orange on the orange. Ah, my pasta! I cooked that from scratch. Well, I didn't cook it, I just ate it. Please don't tell anyone how I live. But another thing I should say as well, especially with these later uh, puzzles, including this one, you have to make sure that if I've got an item that's pointing in a certain direction or anything like that, make sure it is exactly the same. So if you're probably wondering why something's not like it, yours, isn't working it's probably because you haven't put the direction um you haven't put the um item in the same place that i have now for this one what we need to do is quickly just pop this one together so pop the mat in the middle then the knife and fork to the side of it and then the plate in the middle what we can what that's going to do is get us the keep away achievement for basically completing this level before the cat gets it um now, the cat did get it there, but I think because I'd completed it before, um, the achievement still unlocks for me anyway. Now, 
This will unlock for me the first time, but if it doesn't unlock for you, just re retry it again, just reset it and uh, keep going. Now, I'm actually going to get the next achievement here as well, and that is for basically touching the kitten's paw. Um, or the cat paw. Now, bear in mind, this actually took me about three or four retries of this level before it decided to unlock. But um, if you just keep retrying, resetting and retrying, you will get those two achievements. We'll just get those two out of the way nice and quickly, and then we can move on. So again, this next video I've just kept in because uh, it, it's actually a little bit more complicated than it seems. So you just have to move uh, move some tins quite a lot. So uh, first then what we'll do is put green to the left. We'll put yellow to the right and yellow to the right. Then we are going to put green over to the right. And then we're going to put green up to the left. Uh, oh, is that red? Sorry, that's red. Uh, oh god damn it, it's hard to tell. Uh, so green in the middle, and then red over to the right, then red in the middle, green to the middle, and then red to the left, green to the right, red to the left, and then green to the middle. Uh, yeah, that, that seemed it. Oh man, my eyeballs. Oh, they hurt looking at that. But anyway, that's how you do that puzzle. <laughs> So, this last puzzle is going to be the end of chapter two, so it's a very easy one. Uh, we're going to put cat with water on the left, cat with lamp in uh, second, cat knocking over vase like a douchebag third, wine glass fourth, and then the last one's obviously going to be fifth there, with the cats just being all kung fu-ish. And again, because we would have done all of these solutions, you will get the clean kitchen and lost recipe achievement. And then once again, sir, we move on, sir. So yes, chapter three uh, basically starts getting a li little bit more fidgety with a lot more puzzles to uh, mess around with. So uh, this one, it's big white. It's basically going again, the coins from lar left to right, largest to smallest. Uh, so obviously quite easy to nip that one out. Oh, it looks so good, but we are going for the triple air this time. And I think we're going to get the tidy 500 items in just a bit as well. Then we're going to put big white uh, effectively there in the middle. And then the sun. Oh, sorry. Yeah, it's from big to smallest on top of each other. <laughs> And 
And then for the final solution on this one, we're going to put the lightest sun to the left, then the light biscuit looking one uh, second, then the gold one, gold looking one third, then big white in the middle. Then we are going to get uh, hexagon and then finally small tiny Oreo looking nuts and bolts. And that's the third one done. And then uh, let's go. So with this next one then, we're going to get the Draw Me a Rainbow Achievement. You basically have to put these crayons here in a specific order. That's it. It's red, orange, yellow, green, and purple, what it looks like to me. Um, and then just crack on then. So once you've done the crayons in a specific order, go ahead and finish off the... Uh, oh, in fact, actually, and with the dice as well, you need to put it one, two, three, four, five, six in that order. And that is what will finish this level.
right, guys, I'm back. You missed me, I missed you. Right, so what we need to do then, just grab the cloth for the first solution here and make them all shine beautiful gold. And that's going to be the first solution out of three. Again, uh, with some of these videos, especially in Chapter 5, it's easier to show rather than it is to grow and then blow. I mean, it's easier to show rather than in a picture form. Uh, it's, like I said, especially with later levels. So next, we're going to click on all of the coins until they all go blacker than my soul. You thought I was going to say something else then, didn't you? Uh, but no, uh, basically until they're all the darkest color there. And then for the last solution, we basically need it to go from left to right, from sort of darkest to lightest. Uh, and obviously the way you do that is use the cloth. So just go ahead and make the right one shine. And then the, uh, well, like I said, it's just from dark, from left to right, darkest to lightest. Now, this next one was a son of a monkey tit to uh, figure out, but uh, if you just go ahead and follow me, I believe I I believe this is the fastest way to do it. So I've tried going as slow as I can. Um, so just follow what I do here and you'll be free and just free and. So that's the first solution done. The next one, we're going to basically be lining up all the tape. Now, all I could find, really, was picture solutions for this one. I couldn't find a proper video on how to do it, so I had to figure it out myself, uh, which was a pain. And you basically ca you can't do it. You can't just look at a picture solution because you've got to put the boxes in a specific way. So uh, enjoy this second solution, and then job done.
So yes, I do believe those two were the easiest ways. If anyone can find a quicker way, then that's awesome. Um, but that's the quickest way that I could sort of figure out. Right, on to the next one then. Again, this one's very easy. You just clean the vase, you pop up the flowers, uh, give them a little pill, and all three of them will spring into action. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. The old uh, flowagra. Yeah. Anyway, this will be the end of chapter three. So on to chapter four we go. Cat and the music's getting bloody dramatic right there. Uh, but again, this one is quite easy. All you're doing is just spinning the vase around and just fitting the pieces into places. Now we have yet another miscellaneous achievement in this one, and it's basically for cleaning up all of the mess in this one and the next one. So clean up the coffee stains, clean up the uh, paw prints as well. And then what you'll need to do is actually move the newspaper, because uh, there are some under the rug, but for some reason we can't do the ones under the rug until we do the ones under the newspaper. So, uh, why? I do not know. When? I cannot say. How? I also don't know. Uh, but that's what we got to do anyway. So, uh, just go ahead and... Uh, I did have a little reset right there. Because I couldn't figure it out until I moved the paper. So, move, move the newspaper. Then we can move the rugs. Yeah, it. In fact, I think you have to do this in order to um, go f move forward anyway. And then just move all of the leaves and the pot, uh, the plotted, plotted plants until you find them all. And then eventually, in fact, what you need to do actually is the leaves that are not in the plant pot, you need to get rid of them off screen. And that is what I believe will uh, trigger the achievement. So get rid of the leaves first before cleaning up the paw prints. Oh, you know, whatever. It all seemed to work anyway. Right, so for this level then, you've literally just got to um, clean up the cat's paw prints. He will grab the cloth, or it will grab the cloth, old annoyance, uh, but he will hand it back to you. So just keep on cleaning up his disgusting grubby mitts until the level finishes. Thank <laughs> you. 
also what this chapter uh, basically is, it has a lot to do with symmetry, as you can see. So when you see these uh, sort of, uh, when you see this sort of level, you basically just have to get everything lined up beautifully, as it were. Again, this is a nice and easy one then. It's literally basically like a cup and a ball. Um, you know, moving it and going, oh, which one's it going to be? So basically the one that was on the left, we're going to put that to the right. And then the one that was in the middle, you're going to um, pop that one to the left. Or, you know, just have it looking like this and then it's job done. Uh, yeah, sorry. So just pause it here if you want to have a quick view or whatever. But yeah. Is all good. Hello, I is back. 
Right, so what you need to do is move these stones in a particular order, but once you move one, the other one moves as well. So uh, grab the black rock to the right and put it to the left and then down. And then the one in the middle, put it left and then up. And then the one in the top right, move it to the left and down. And that is the first solution done. So as you can see, obviously, when you move the rocks, um, they move in other places as well. So it can be a bit confusing. But again, these are the quickest ways that I believe that we can do these said solutions. So for the next one, what we're going to do is grab the top right one, put it to the middle. So down and left. Then the top right one, put it down and down. And then finally, the one bottom middle, put it to the left. And then the top left, put it down twice. And that is how we do that. Oh, yes, son. So this next one can be a little bit of a pain in the old Poonani. So what we need to do is basically three snowflakes that we're going to do. And we have to find a little symbols that match um, sort of each one. So for instance, what we need to do, find, uh, if you have a look at the outside of this snowflake first, we have to go ahead and find the symbols that match the edges. Uh, now you can do them out of order. That's fine to do, but I just find it easier to do it from sort of top to middle. So as you can see then, this first one, I believe it's a uh, right trigger or the right stick in order to zoom in and out. So again, what you're doing is finding the symbols that match the outer uh, sort of ring, if you will, the sort of outer ring of the snowflake. And then you just got to sort of get them lined up. Can be a little bit of a pain in the old bunder badge to get that one going. Speaking of uh, the old bunder badge, and Bayer Leverkusen doing well in the old Bundesliga this year. Ah, Harry Kane went to Bayern Munich to win trophies and he's not going to win anything. <laughs> oh, you can take the lad out of Spurs, but you can't take Spurs out of the lad. Huh? Right. Uh, so, yep. Obviously, when you've got the first one, then what you're looking for is kind of what looks like be a bottle, be a bottles or something. Um, again, obviously, the map isn't very big. So, you know, just have a little mosey on around so obviously when you found it that'll be the second one and then you're just looking for uh the sort of snowflake what looks like um skinny men with uh, pointy hats on no that sounds wrong actually but anyway once you found that then as you can see that's the first one so those three symbols are for now gone so the next one you're obviously looking for spiky boys at the top then sort of uh, bodies with their arms out and uh, the inner middle one. So just do that for all three snowflakes and jobs a banana.
Oh my god, thank god that's over. Right, so what we have to do is grab specific flies and put them in specific places on the map. So this first fly on the left, I think we're going to need first. Uh, the, the other flies are there, so don't worry about those. Uh, it's only the ones that we need to grab that are flying around. Uh, so the first one, like I said, is going to be on the left. Come on. Okay, there we go. And we're going to put him on the bottom of the web, the sort of penultimate one down there. Next, we will go ahead and grab the right one, and we're going to put that to the just... There you go, sort of third one in. And then the next one we're going to grab on the left, which is going to be at the sort of top left. Then we're going to grab the top right fly. Pop, uh, oh, in fact, no, sorry, it's the bottom right fly. Basically, the other fly that we don't have right now. <laughs> Uh, as you can see, because we've grabbed the wrong one, we're not putting him in the correct place. There we go. That one will be just in the sort of uh, opposite the other fly. Um, and then the last one's going to be there. And then we can grab the golden fly, pop him in the middle. Spider go nom 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 nom. Gets radioactive powers, turns into Spider Hulk. As long as it's not uh, the twerking She-Hulk. Now, I know we all have a bit of bum. Of course we do. But too cringy for... What's supposed to be death and destruction? Yeah, it's just, nah. Like I said, not that I'm complaining about anyone, uh, any females twerking, because damn, I like it. But uh, yeah, yeah. She-Hulk could have done better. Anyway, uh, what we're going to do with this first puzzle then, we're going like, to set everything up. So the ones on the right, so the, um, so the ones in the middle, we're going to put nice and straight. Uh, we're going to have the bottom left one going down the top left one going left and then what we're going to do so is pop the ball down but then what we need to do is actually move the coffee cup and the tire one to the right and then when that happens we're going to quickly move the quickly then move them to the left so pop them to the left that then will get the tire down the hole down the apple swinging into the golf hole into the coffee cup yada 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 everybody like it sugar coffee Oh god, I didn't even realise we're on chapter 5. <laughs> Time flies when you're having fun. <laughs> right, just spin the clock around until you hit uh, small hand on 3 and big hand on uh, on 1. Sorry, so it's basically 5 past 3. Uh, you know, with the leaves in the background, yeah, just go 5 past 3 and you are golden nuggeties. And, whew, time does fly when you're having fun. Okay, move on, Kia. Okay, there we go, there we go, yeah, good. Right, so this one, we've got to move the chess pieces in the correct place and then move the shadows to the correct place. So, um, I don't know what the, the pieces are. I know that, that, that's probably a queen, right? Or is that the king? I don't know. Uh, but basically, we're going from left to right, biggest to smallest, and then go ahead with the shadows in the background. You need to sort them out and put them in their respective winning places. Now this does seem complicated, but again, it is quite easy. So what you're going to see is like flashing constellation stars, bigger flashing constellation stars. Now what you will just need to do is put this into a place where you can start seeing a sort of red line. And again, as you can see, once that red line goes to white there, then you can just let go. And that's how you make the pictures. So there's three of these to do, but they are easy enough.
Oh my god, this is getting this is a lot quicker to record than it was to edit. Right, uh, now I've left this one in again, so what you need to do then is put the uh, sticker notes, the, uh, make it go yellow, then red, then green. Turn the apple so that the apple leaf is just on the left. Grab the gold key, put it in the top left corner, and with this globe, make sure it is looking like it is on the computer there, so yellow and green, then the silver key up to the top. Um, same with the paint brushes as well, so you need to put it in an order, so red, then purple, then green. And then what? Uh, then we need to put the time to, what again, what it looks like on the computer there. So it looks like a tick, which is what? Five past 10 or something. And then you need to put everything in order on the PC. <clears throat> uh, by, uh, by the way, the cat will appear and mess up your laptop. You just have to click on the pop-up ads that appear. <laughs> So, uh, there he is. Damn chubby cat. You're lucky you're chubby and cute. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to be keys. Then it's going to be time. Then it's going to be uh, sticky notes. Then paint. Oh, paint will be down in the bottom left corner. Then the globe. Then the PC. Then the stopwatch. Then the apple. And now what I haven't done there is actually put the PC globe in its correct place. Because when you do that, and then you turn the uh, time in sand boy, that's what will finish the level. So as long as as long as it looks exactly like this and everything's in place, that is how we do it. That is how we do it. Give it again, yeah, baby. Now this is how we do it. Right, we need to grab matches, sort out some colors. So the first one we'll put in diamond Joe Quimby box. Then the next one we will put in the uh, cracking box. Again, it doesn't matter what match you pick up as long as you put them in the correct box. So the very left one we'll put in now. Then grab another match and put that in the, uh, where we go in, the right-hand side box, the fly box. Grab another one, pop that in the mirror looking box. And then the next one, pop that in, oh, in fact, actually, no, let's grab the yellow one first, the very fly one. Eventually, there we go. And we'll put that in the cracking box. Then we can go ahead and grab the one from the diamond, put that in the middle. Then grab the one that was in the bird and pop that one in the middle. Then, well, effectively, we're just putting them <coughs> all in the middle. Mm, come on. And then when we have put them all in the middle, we will now grab the other match, which we haven't used, put that in the left hand side one that will turn yellow and then we can pop that one in the middle that'll close that'll get us a white one and voila job done as soon as you actually pull it out there we go right so for this next one then what you need to do is basically <clears throat> excuse me um now the candles if I do believe that it is the right one. Yes, it is. So for these candles, then what you, when you pick up the match, every time you pick it up, it turns to black or white. Now, when it's white and you put it on the candle, it starts going up. And when you when it turns black, it's the candle starts melting and going down. So for the two solutions, the first one, you have to put all the candles in a line so they look the same. And then from left to right, it's going to be from biggest to smallest. So again, just using the candle to go from... Biggest to smallest, and that is how you do the two solutions for this one. Oh, wasn't this a fun one? <laughs> it took me ages to figure out. So, we're going to move the mirror over slightly, and we basically need to put everything in its place. So, put the jug next to it, and then the orange. Again, it'll be slightly out of place, but that's literally fine. Then grab the slice of orange and move it over. Grab the mirror over and then pop the stand to the right with the lemon on it. Bring the candle over and make sure to click on the flame to extinguish it. Um, move the mirror over again, basically to the right, so we can grab the big vase and the leaf, which we'll chuck in there. Um, go ahead and pull the box to the left to, uh, so we can click on the switch. Then we can grab the skull, pop it in, and make sure to put that back. Pop all the books in a nice straight line, and that is how we do that one. Right. 
Right, another fun one to do. What we need to do is grab the lamp or grab the light or whatever, move it over to the left hand side. You basically have to push buttons, not in a specific order, but we need to make like a love heart shape with these buttons. So just watch carefully, which I do, and you will be good as gold, except for these ones. Don't click the bottom two that I've clicked here. Turn those off. So once you're done, we can move the lamp back, and there we go. As long as you've got a nice little love heart, that'll be level completos. You bloody cat. Right, so we've got a fun one coming up now. Uh, another miscellaneous achievement, but basically what you have to do is, straight away, you will have to basically get the, uh, the ring that goes up to the outer ring and click it basically every time. So you have to do it from uh, fr straight away now, so as you can see, where the rings are going up, you basically have to hit it from the moment you start this. And you have to do this about eight times until the level completes and the achievement unlocks. Like I said, it will unlock. Basically, you cannot miss a beat. So immediately when you start, it'll be from the very, very first one. So once you've done that and the achievement unlocks, you're going to get all cat in some weird seductive cat poses. I don't know if that's how uh, cats bum each other, but uh, doing all this stuff first. If that's the case, then, well, good luck. But cats have spiky tongues, so if a cat's going to lick another cat's butthole, <laughs> it's going to be painful. So these ones are basically just very easy now. Um, they're not even really puzzles. You just have to literally do some things. So this mouse, for instance, pop it down there. Um, this next one, you literally just... Uh, just turning it around and making it's basically just yeah, just it's easy to follow easy to follow
And now we're going to be coming up to two miscellaneous achievements. Now, if you only managed to get one like I did, that's fine. You can just replay this level after. Uh, but basically, what you need to do... Now, make sure to note... Now, it's going to be the same for everyone every time. But basically, to get the Rainbow to the Moon achievement, you need to start and basically go all the way up doing grey, red, and then yellow. So what you'll do is grab whatever container it is and then jump up. So... Make sure that you are always going start. So we'll start off with gray and then grab red containers and then grab yellow containers all the way up. Plus to get the next achievement, make sure that you are stacking these as high as you possibly can. Um, so as I said, always remember for you and for everyone else, make sure you are stacking everything as high as you can and make sure that you are only grabbing the certain colors you need. So gray, then red, then yellow. So remember, I'll say it again, grey, then red, then yellow. Make sure you do that every time going all the way up. And make sure to, again, stack these as high as you possibly can for another achievement. Again, I missed the uh, big stacking achievement, so I just had to replay it, which was fine. Um, but yeah, so that's all you've got to do until you get to the very top. It's going to take a few minutes, but that's fine. But remember, <clears throat> make sure that you are stacking everything uh, so grab everything grey, and then grab everything red until you jump up to the next platform, and then grab everything yellow until you jump up to the next platform, and then continue onwards until you's a winner!
Uh, now, I do apologize there uh, for the potentially slight con confusion. Um, now, obviously, I did say gray, red, and yellow because that is what you were supposed to do. But what I was showing you there was how to stack as high as you can. That's the um, that's what I was doing there. That's what I was showing you. But as long as, like I said, as long as you were doing gray, then red, then yellow, uh, hopefully you should have unlocked both of those achievements, and that's good. Now it's going to come up to the credits, and in order to get another achievement, we actually have to hold the A button and hit all of the names. So basically, as long as all the names, either first or second letters, but it's easier just to get everything done. Um, so don't worry about the items or the objects to hit. It's only the names that you have to worry about hitting. And you'll see what I mean in just a minute. So make sure you've got your finger, your thumb, squirrely held on the uh, A button and then move it about. So like I said, for now, this bit doesn't matter, but it's these bits. So make sure that you hit every single name as much as you can just for a minute or two until the achievement unlocks. And there we go then, so once you did do that, the uh, next set of credits will roll, and then after these next set of credits, you'll get, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, so you get about six achievements here, and that's for completing the game without, hopefully, you didn't skip a level, um, finding all the solutions, not using a hint, and of course, the 100% chapter 5 completions, etc. So we're just going to wait till all this goes out. Now, if you do want to replay that last, very, very last level, um, if you missed one of the achievements for not stacking, not stacking the containers high enough, or if you didn't do the Rainbow to the Moon one, just go to levels. It'll pop out all of this, and then basically it'll be the picture with the couple of coloured containers. So yeah, there you go, it'll be that one. Right, next up, we are going to get the achievements now for uh, taking a hint, fully revealing a hint, revealing 10 hints, and basically skipping 10 levels. So you can go into literally any level that you want, and then what you'll do is press start, go to hint, rub a little bit out, and if you, again, if you rub all of it out, you will get two achievements straight away here, which is exactly what we want. Because you want it, dog, you want it, girl. But you can't do the same hints in each level. You have to then go to levels. Once you've done this one, then just nip over to the next level. Press start, go to hint, and do the same. So you're just going to go ahead and do that for 10 levels. And then when that one is done, 
You can then press start, go to let it be, and that is going to get your first achievement for skipping your first level. When it goes to the next level, you will then, of course, press the start button again, go to let it be, and then you're going to keep doing this ten times until... Da -da -da -da, with the magic of editing! It's going to unlock there, and that is done. So, for the main game, all you should have left now are all of the Daily Tidy achievements, which I believe there are 11 of them. Um, which, again, you can either do 100 days on Xbox, or you can do it the easier PC way, changing the date. But now we're going to crack on with the DLC. It's uh, obviously a little bit shorter, uh, so what you can do if you don't have it... Original price is only £4.99, um, or it's £4.49 with Game Pass at the minute. So, whatever way you've done it, you can just go ahead and start it. I think there's 20 levels, I think, in this one. Yeah, something like that. But again, it's it's still decent. It, it is fun. A couple of miscellaneous achievements in this one as well. So, let's crack on. Again, a lot of these are just going to be uh, sort of picture solutioned. And obviously, I'll be coming back with the um, sort of miscellaneous achievements and everything if needed. So, for this achievement then, we need to get every cap having a new owner, as it were. So, the pens can go in any specific order, that's fine, but the lids, you have to make sure that they are all on a different pen. So, do not put the correct lid on the correct pen. So, just make sure to put them on, you know, different colours or whatever it is. Um, but again, basically, we have to put all caps on one pen and then uh, basically put them on another one so just go ahead pop again put the pens in any order just make sure that all the caps or all the lids are on completely different ones so once they're on all different ones first what we can then do is go ahead and take the left hand side cap off don't worry about that mate don't worry we're going to be resetting this anyway so don't you worry your buggery balls off about it Hell, don't worry your bowels off about it. Ugh, anyway, so once you've got every cap on, which is wrong, you can go ahead and take the left-hand side one off. You bear. And then take the right-hand side one off. And then what you do with the rest of the caps is just move them over by one. There we go. Bob's your uncle. Fanny's your aunt. Yeah, fannies. And then make sure to put, again, the other two caps on the wrong ones. And that is what will get you the Where is my cap achievement. And then uh, Eminem starts singing Stan. I wrote it on the starter cap. Anyway, these are the next four solutions in order to get this level done properly.
Ah, Kitty's a lot cuter than this one. He's not being a douche and ruining my house. He's just getting his fat little belly in my sink. Anyway, time for a another miscellaneous achievement. So what you need to do is basically stack absolutely everything on this, uh, well, small tray, effectively. Uh, so it may take quite a f it may take a few minutes because you have to stack literally everything on and you have to be able to move the tray with it as well. Now, bear in mind, there are still a couple of food items underneath the uh, bottom tray, not the large tray, but the small bottom tray. So just get every bit of food that you can on. Ah, crap you. So as you can see there, we uh, are missing quite a few items. Uh, so once you've popped everything on again, it's, it's not too bad, but again, just obviously be aware some may fall off. Uh, but once you have stacked everything on and you have moved the tray, that is a requirement. Once you've moved the tray, there we go. A balanced meal of apples and Doritos and all the good stuff. Um, yeah, so once you've done that one, you can go ahead, reset it. It'll just be easier to do that. And then follow the solution. Does look good, apart from the celery sticks. Nobody eats celery sticks, okay? It's just, it's not a rule. It's just nobody does. So this one actually has two parts to it. Now we're getting into the point where we can start uh, opening drawers and then we're having to find stuff to put into the next drawer, etc. So that's the first, this is the first drawer that we do. And then the, uh, once you've done this one, the bottom drawer will look like this. So again, this is on the same level. And it's another miscellaneous achievement time. So what we need to do is basically just stack every single can on top of each other. So uh, go ahead, sort it out like I have done here. I've basically started doing the level and then uh, any can I've just started stacking up. Now, uh, what you effectively have to do now is grab the... So if you get about maybe three or four sort of um, high stacks, as it were, because uh, what you need to do is basically grab one from the bottom and put it... So, so as you can see here, I'm not able to... Once the stack has gone past the top of the screen, uh, it won't work. Uh, so what you need to do is basically have one sort of half stacked cans, as you can see what I've done here. And then with the bigger, larger stacked cans, I'm going to put that on top of the smaller ones. And that is what will unlock the can-do altitude. And then once you have unlocked the achievement, just go ahead and finish the level by following the 
Solución. Okay, so we're going back to Kitty Catty. Now, what we're going to do is actually not touch the controller for about 40 to 45 seconds because we're going to get another achievement here called In No Rush. So just don't touch the cat to go to the next level and don't smash my glass, douche. <sighs> I don't know if that was uh, quite a pervy sound or that was a Sideshow Bob attempt earlier on with the cat. But anyway, on to the next one. This is going to be the second to last miscellaneous achievement. Turn on the Game Boy. Move the circle up. I think it unlocks anyway as soon as you turn it on. And that is the Now You're Playing With Power. A classic. Anyway, once you've unlocked that achievement, go ahead and follow the solution. Love this, by the way.
Okay, so for the next uh, solution, there is actually a bottom drawer to open up. And basically, you're going to put, be putting paper clips in there. So from gold to grey to gold to grey, obviously the thick paper clips, and they get smaller and smaller. So I apologize that I didn't show you there. So this one's easy enough, uh, basically all we have to do is fit all the swords in. Uh, but what you need to do then is, we, first of all, we're going to move the black box over to the left as far as we can. Open up the right hand side drawer and then pop in the old long, the old long wiggly boy. And then we're going to put the box over, uh, again, further to the right as much as you can. Open up the left drawer, pop the pink boy in. And then pop that one. And then we're going to drag the box all the way down in order to get the top one going. And then we're going to drag old Zelda boy in. See, it needed just a little bit more. Pop that one down. And then obviously with the same black box up to the top, open the bottom drawer, chuck in small boy. Job's done. Right, so now we're coming up to the last miscellaneous um, achievement in the game. So all we have to do then is there are eight trophies and we're just going to pound them down. No, there's 16, 12, 8, 4, 8, no, 16 trophies. So all you got to do is just take them out of each cabinet. So 4, 8, 12, 16. Yeah, sorry, I'm, I'm math stupid. Uh, so yeah, so all we got to do then is pop all the trophies out and that will get us the show off. Achievement again, that'll be the last miscellaneous achievement in the DLC and Then we get two for just completing it and then with these ones We just have to put the trophies back in the correct Place and you can obviously tell by the pictures on the doors
Again, very, very easy. Grab the peanut, put it all the way to the bottom, open up every single drawer, chuck peanut in drawer. Squirrel will be very happy with that. Or not since he ain't gonna be able to get it. Yeah. And on to the finale of levels. So there's basically three little puzzles we got to do. Go ahead, pop the first key in the second lock. And just follow the solution. You're basically putting breakfast on the table and squaring all that off. So once that's all good, grab the next key, put it in the third lock. And just basically put all these cars... Looking down and looking up. Go and grab the next key, put it in the first lock on the left. And then basically what you need to do is just make it look as beautiful as this farmland. And finally, grab the uh, key, put it in the fourth lock, and this is what will actually end the DLC. This isn't a puzzle, but it is a beautiful looking piece of stuff. And then once the credits roll and complete, you will then complete that DLC. You'll get everything put away and the other side for finding all the solutions and completing it. And yes. Mm. Can you hear the sound of Daily Tidies left? So once those two are done then, let's have a quick little chat about the Daily Tidies. Now, obviously if you don't have a PC, unfortunately, if you want to get the 100% achievement, uh, guide 100% uh, achievements done you will have to go into so again you'll have 11 to do complete your first daily tidy uh, consecutive days and stuff so obviously if you don't have a PC or you're just not that arsed and you don't mind doing one every day put an alarm on do one every day and you basically have to do one every day for a hundred days which is what 30 60 90 so that's about three and a bit months uh, this is how you go on to it so you just nip on do your do your daily tidy, and then it's job done. Sometimes, now they are actually different. Some of these are actually different than they were in the game. Um, so this one, for instance, blah, I ain't got a clue. So I actually didn't even do this one. Um, yeah, so didn't bother with this one. So you can actually not do one and come back the next day. Um, yeah, that's obviously having to do it the legit way. Or, of course, if you do have a PC, you can obviously download it from Xbox Game Pass uh, on your PC, from PC Game Pass. And the easiest way is to just change the date. So change the day every day. So change the day, do the daily task, or don't. Change the next day, do the daily task, and just keep going until all of them unlock. But be warned, um, the grind still will take a few hours, primarily because if you do it that way, sometimes it can crash on your PC and you'll just have to go again. Um, and also, um, I think that's it actually. No, that's it. So yeah, just be aware that it can crash. Also be aware that it will still take another couple of hours to do just because it's, I mean, you, yeah, you're basically doing a hundred levels effectively. So Yep, that's the two ways that you can basically go ahead and complete this game. The legit way or the PC way. Either way, one's going to take you three and a bit months, <laughs> maybe even longer. And the other way is going to still take you a couple of hours. But that's it from me then, guys and gals. So thank you so, so much for watching. I really do hope you enjoyed the game. I thought the game was brilliant, really enjoyed it. But I hope the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share with a friend as well. Big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members. So thank you so, so much. You guys uh, and girls are, um, 
Mwah! I want to kiss you all. So, uh, yeah, thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next Game Pass game, guys and gals. Big love!